per my lawyer's instructions, I'm about to call Worcester Police and report theft. Not only of a covered trailer, but now there's some guy named Curtis giving my stuff away to anybody coming by the warehouse. Don't worry, everything is gonna be in court and we're gonna make sure Maryland's held responsible. But my lawyer says I still need to call the Worcester Police and report the theft. I'm not too optimistic about what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway and you're gonna get to see what they say. Yes, uh, I'd like to report theft, please. Okay, where did it happen at? It happened at 852 Spruce Street in Worcester, Ohio. Uh, is that a house or an apartment? It is a commercial building. It's a storage facility. A couple of different, sure. different buildings there. Well, what's the phone number for you? 330. I've got a 2003 Great Lakes cargo trailer that was stolen. Are you ready for the VIN? Uh, hold on just a second. I'll get that here in just a second. Uh, okay, hold on just a second. When did they steal it? It would have been uh, last week, I think it was first reported, or might have been. I mean, you should already have something in the system because. Uh, so you guys already reported it. Well, we reported it, and your officers came down and declared that I was trespassing because this facility is actually in the court system. And so the officers told my employees they had to remove themselves from the actual facility. Uh, Jeremy wants to know if you're going to call him. She said no. Nope. Okay, he wants to talk to you. Is that okay? <laughs> Well, we're, we're trying to figure that out exactly right now. Okay, so there's a court order. I'm away. If you turn utilities back on, I would be out on June 7th. She did not have utilities back on. And that was based on a reasonable amount of time after the utilities were turned back on. She's in contempt of court, and that has been filed. And therefore, I have not left based on that court order. Well, she filed a contempt against you. Yes, she did. She filed sanctions yesterday. I'm aware. I'm looking at it right now. Okay, so so this is a civil issue. We are not trespassing. We are still legal tenants based on, and so are my employees who are legal tenants. So there is no such thing as a no trespass on a legal tenant. Listen, that would be for a listen Jeremy, 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 listen, listen. At, at this point, until something's ruled on, you guys are not allowed here. The last you have the ruling in your hands that says the Jeremy, I'm not going to argue with you. Here we go again. Officer trying to be a judge. She says all of this stuff about the court order. Oh, I'm a legal tenant until I am legally evicted. Until a judge says that I'm trespassing. I mean, my intention is my intention is to file trespassing charges on you guys. But I'm my guess is that after this is probably going to you guys will have to leave when we leave. But it gets crazy. I mean, it just gets so much crazier. After being told, my employees being told that they were at potential uh, being arrested for trespassing. First of all, you can't be arrested when you are an actual tenant. Landlords cannot put no trespassing orders on any individuals Individuals can come. It's not like it's your personal home. If you live in your personal home, you can put a no trespassing order on Jeremy Hales. And you're a landlord and you lease that space out, you can't put a no trespassing order on anybody. You just can't do it in the state of Ohio. I understand different states are different with different laws. And so now Worcester police are trying to tell employees that, nope, yeah, you're in trouble for trespassing. And then... Just a day later, her lawyer is begging us to be on the property.
The next day, the other individual's lawyer begged me to come onto the facility and get the rest of my belongings. This is all, all in the court system. And and the trailer has been stolen. Other items have been stolen. Somebody, Marilyn Raby, has somebody working there clearing out all my belongings. And some guy named Curtis has been offering them to people and giving and letting people take stuff. Okay. You had that VIN now? Go ahead. That VIN is 5MBBE202735. Three E zero 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 four two one. Okay, let me read it back to you. Okay. Yep. All right. Five M is in Mary. B is in boy. B is in boy. E is in Edward. Two zero two seven three. E is in Edward. And then zero 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 four twenty one. That is correct. Do you know a license plate on it or anything? Uh, there is no license plate on it. Okay. And it was just a black standard Great Dane trailer? It's a 20-foot covered cargo trailer. Black, yes. Black, okay. You said 20, what was the year on it, 2020? 20, 2003, Great Lakes cargo oh, trailer. Sorry. Uh, I've got other items that are being stolen as well. Will they call me, or what's what's the plan? Um, I'm not sure. What other items do you have? I don't. I don't exactly know everything that's been stolen. I've been told by other people okay. that uh, the business across the street, Pell Electric, that this guy Curtis is in there working for Marilyn Raby and giving people my stuff away. They're also putting okay. it in dumpsters. This is all in court. This is in civil court, and they're in there. They're in there. Uh, Destroying my stuff and giving it away and stealing it. Okay. Now, as you have an officer make contact, I'm in Florida, but I can have my employees meet them at the actual location and be on the phone or on FaceTime with the officer. Yes. Okay? Yes. I appreciate that. Thank All you right. much. Not a problem. You have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. Oh, man. Let's see what officer we actually get to meet on scene. Christian and patients are already on call to go and meet them. Hopefully, it ain't that mean lady. She don't belong on the force. Hello, this is Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy. This is Officer Mario with the Hey, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. We have actually been dealing with, uh, I forget her name, but the lady that's towed the trailer or whatever with the trailer. Yep, Marilyn uh, Raby. You still have property there? She's selling the place or what's going on? Yep, that's exactly what's happening. Is uh, she's The entire issue is in, in uh, civil litigation right now. And uh, basically, in a nutshell... My trailer disappeared, and the last time we called to actually report that that trailer was gone, two officers showed up on scene at 852 Spruce Street and threatened my employees that they were trespassing and potential uh, arrest for trespassing. Uh, they are not trespassing, by the way, and and nor have they been. She, she tried to, she tried, I was down there like last week, and she tried to do the same thing. I think you guys were there. And we're trying to get property out of the building or something. And uh, I told her, I said, look, you own it, but they have property in there. They pretty much probably have a right to be here to get the property. We have every right so, to be there, but the trailer is gone. So it's stolen. Right. It's gone. And now what I've been told is she's got some guy there named Curtis working working in the building and giving my stuff away, contacted one of the guys across the street at Pell Electric, had him come over with tow motor and moving my stuff with a tow motor. Some of my stuff is over at Pell Electric. They're giving my stuff away. Right. And her thing is, she's telling you, she said she gave you guys ample time to get it because she has the property sold. 
in that no one's supposed to be there at this point. It, the land is changing hands. It's not up to her. It's up to a judge. I, 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 like I said, yep. It's a huge civil. It's a huge civil. Oh. Don't get me wrong. And she keeps making it worse and worse and worse. It, exactly, and I don't think she understands that. She just continues to say, "Oh, you, that you put our officers on YouTube and bash them and bash them on YouTube." I'm like, "Look, so be it. He's allowed to do it." But I, I really couldn't. I, I we couldn't tell him because. The box, there was a box truck there in the trailer. So, so she actually called you know, Worcester and, police to tell them, is what you're telling me. Yeah, we've had, we've been down there several times in the last couple weeks because she's dealing with stuff. As far as the, the building being sold, and she called in multiple trespass complaints on your people. Um, nothing was done, obviously, because she acknowledged that, yeah, they still had property in there. So, well, if they had property in there, how are they not allowed to get it? She goes, well, I gave them enough time. I said, well, that's not really how it's going to work. It's going to be a civil matter. I'm not going to charge anybody out of this. She's in, in the, the box truck. I'm not sure if it ended up being, I think that guy called and reported it to him because she had to have it towed off the property because Correct. she owns the property. She can take vehicles and have them do whatever with them. He was a, property. yeah, he was a tenant as well, leasing space, which again, everything's in civil litigation as you're aware. that um as far as this goes if she throws something off of her property it's kind of going to fall into the same umbrella so as far as far as this goes i can find out i can try to find out where she had to go to i'm assuming that it probably went to north end garage or bears towing or oh, patriot around here absolutely i've got to know where it is she's she's going to be charged with theft okay. or at least in the legal system, she's going to be attempted to be held liable for theft. I need to know where the trailer is. Well, well, it's, her, it, well it's her property, so she can have it removed from there. We didn't. We did well, not tow it. Yeah, uh, correct. Uh, this is where this is where you're messing up. It is her property. Yes, absolutely. She cannot remove anything from her property. That's the that's the ownership of a legal tenant. I am still a legal tenant in the eyes of the court. Next court hearing is August 5th. She cannot legally remove anything. I have a trailer missing. I have property missing from the building. She can't even go in the building without giving 24-hour proper notice. And I understand this is all civil issues. My lawyer told me to contact Worcester Police and report it and have it reported as theft. Do you have a plate for your trailer or a VIN? It is not plated, but the VIN, I can give you the VIN right now. Go ahead and give me the VIN for it. The VIN is 5, M as in Mary, B as in boy, B as in boy, E as in energy, 202 Seven three E as in energy zero 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 four two one. Okay, I'm gonna read it back to you. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. Five Mary Boy Boy Edward two zero two seven three Edward zero 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 four two one. That is correct. It's a two thousand and three. It's a gray box trailer, right? No, it's a black one. It's a 2003 Great Lakes cargo trailer, 20-foot enclosed black trailer. Uh, 2003 Great Lakes enclosed? Yes. The gray one, the gray one I, I, have, I have multiple properties. The gray one is at another facility. Uh, I, have, I have the gray one in my possession. It is the black one that has been stolen. And items from the building have been stolen. There are items right now across the street at Pell Electric. They literally had people come over from Pell Electric with a tow motor and move my items. And there is some of my items over at Pell Electric. Right. And you're, and you're still considered a tenant? In a, I am a legal so tenant. Down there. You're saying that you guys were, it was done, the land is sold. I, what was left there was what she says means nothing. What the judge says means everything. I am a legal tenant, and the next hearing is August 5th. Okay. All right. And I, I truly want something to be done. I mean, this is the last time I went there, the female officer, uh, what's her name? Officer Tru Truid or Tru I don't even remember what her name is, but I mean, she, she all but did nothing. 
Well, she all she wouldn't even get out of the vehicle. I mean, I, I can type it up. It's whatever you want, but I, I mean, you see where I'm going with it. If she owns the property and tows something from the property, they're going to have a hard time charging her with anything for it. So again, my lawyer said to call and report the theft. I know. I know yeah. what your lawyer said. I'm just telling you how our court, our courts are going to view it. Like I said, it's not that I'm not going to do anything. I can get yeah. a case number and ask her where it was towed to because we already have prior documentation of it because she wanted the police department to tow these things, the box trucks and the trailers, and we said, no, that's private property. We aren't towing those that, that equipment. Correct. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, legally, and, see, here's and, the other thing. I, I don't understand how she... Suspect, we told her there was not going to be anything done about people coming here to try to get their property. So she was not happy with me, but that's what I left it at with her. Well, and there have been other calls down there, obviously. So the last, the last couple of calls... The the officers literally threatened my my employees, saying that if they didn't leave after they left, they they were under threat of being arrested, which is so asinine. It's ridiculous. Um, but so my lawyer wants me to call and report the theft. What's the next steps? You're going to try and find out. You're going to try and find out where the trailer is. Yeah. What are we going to do about this guy, Curtis, giving my stuff away to everybody? I can document that too, but like I said, I I won't know what all she stole or where it's at. Do you have anybody in town here that walked to the property? For I can. The last time we were on the property, Worcester police told us if we entered it again, we were going to be arrested. So we've been waiting for court August 5th. So until Worcester police stop threatening myself and my employees, and I'm not saying that's you, that was other officers, until they actually realize this is a civil issue and they don't have jurisdiction over it, that the judge is going to declare when the end date is. If I can get people there... Yeah, if you have a lease agreement and you have people there saying you're permitted to be there, that's, that's fine. Sure, absolutely. I mean, if, they don't, if you don't have any proof that you're allowed to be there and she's telling the officer, hey, they're not supposed to be here, no one is, then we're, you know, we're just third party. We don't, we have to go off, she obviously owns it through the record, so, so you kind of have to put some weight into her statement. There's two sides to every story. Yeah, there's two sides to every story, so and, and just like just like you're saying, hey, you know, if you don't have a record, we do have a record, it's in court. And so she can say anything she yeah. wants, and what's happening, the last time we were there, she said whatever she wants, and and then the police go, all right, get off the property, or you're going to be arrested. I mean, that's just, that's completely ridiculous. It is in court. It is literally in court. August 5th is the next hearing. You have the, you have the documents, though, from the court. Yeah, I have the documents, and frankly, you have access to the documents. So what, I mean, there should be no issue whatsoever. Well, I, don't, I, I, won't, I, won't be able, I won't be able to have access to your court documents and court orders. Yeah. You'd have to have those on you. You know what I mean? I can't just, there's no system that I can just look up and find out all the court orders that are issued. So, well, there is. You can look those all up. But, um, but besides the point, the, the issue is it's still in court and, and my lawyer wants it reported. So, you can, you're going to try and find, you're going to, and I want it reported as well. I want her to be held accountable for what she's doing. Uh, what are we going to do to make sure I'm not losing any more stuff? I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not even there right now. Because I'm in a hurricane, right. and and then my employees are being threatened to be to be arrested by Worcester police if they're on the property. Well, and I mean, this if is your employees, if, your, if your employees need to go down there, have them have a copy of your court order. If you're permitted, to, if you're still a tenant, at least yes. a tenant there, then if they have that paperwork, we can do a civil standby for them. Okay. Look through the property. She changed the locks on me. For them to get. She changed the locks on me. So you're going to, as long as you guys are going to be okay with them breaking in because they legally can break in because I'm still a legal tenant. Right. So we, we, we would probably try to prevent any property damage, maybe get her there on the phone and stand by while she lets them get some stuff. How, I mean, she's been cleaning that thing out for a week and a half. Yeah. And you see all the stuff she's putting in dumpsters. That's my personal belongings. I, I've got posters and movie memorabilia. The movie memorabilia I have in there, and I, I and and I think maybe you'll understand how upsetting this is. The movie memorabilia I have in there, one poster, and I have thousands upon thousands. One poster can be a hundred thousand dollars. I might have multi million dollars of just movie memorabilia, and here she's bringing in dumpsters and giving all my stuff away. 
I mean, this is, it's not like it's a petty theft or a petty crime. I literally have high dollar items worth a lot of money and I'm locked out illegally and my, my belongings are being given away. Say that again, sir. Why does she think that it's all done and that you guys don't have a reason to be? And because we went, we, we did a pre-hearing and it was agreed upon upon three things that I would I would remove myself from the property and all the belongings by June seventh. And she had to she had to comply to three things. She had to give me a key back. I've been locked out of the building for well over a year. She had to give me a key back. She had to turn the electric on. She had to turn the water on. And water is being the big issue is in a pandemic and and COVID. And she did not turn the water on. And therefore I can't safely go in there with employees and empty out a ten thousand square foot building. And so she did right. not comply to the to the to the agreement, and so I filed contempt of court based on her not complying to the agreement, and then she filed contempt of court based on saying I didn't go, I didn't remove myself from June seventh. What do you think the What do you think the judge is going to say? I, and I know you don't want to put yourself in the position of the judge, but the judge is going to say, Marilyn, you did not comply. Period. I mean, that's that, a court order is a court order. Right. Well, yeah. If you're supposed to be up the seventh, and she didn't comply on her end, she didn't comply on yours. I, I don't know what they'll say. The water wasn't turned on till June fifteenth. Uh, it like, was you know, that's not very, like, very clear. That. Yep. But that's a simple matter. For sure, but like I said, if she's you know your trailer, I'll get a document for you. I'm gonna call her, try to find out where it's at, see what she did with it, or. Does she have anybody else there that oversees her property? Because there was another guy down there one day with her. There's some guy named Curtis giving my stuff away to people. That's all that's been reported to me by people. Like her her previous business partner, Brian, told me that he's given my stuff away to people. And I don't even know what I'm missing right now because I, I'm, go, I'm going through a hurricane in Florida. And... I, Again, I can't I can't enter the property without Worcester police threatening me, and uh, it is, it's out of control. It's literally out of control, and I I got my property legally being stored there, waiting for August fifth court date, and this is what's going on while while I'm gone. And I had to move to Florida to re rebuild a business because she locked me out in the first place illegally. Right. So uh, you were supposed to be out June seventh. She didn't abide by her end of the deal to have you out by then to get your stuff. And you didn't, you're saying you didn't get ample time to get it. Now it's being uh, moved out of there by people you don't know. And that's pretty much the gist of it, but we got to find out where the trailer's at. What do you value that trailer at? That trailer, that trailer, that trailer is a $2,500 trailer. Okay, $2,500. I'm just typing this stuff as we talk. Sure, sure. Um, okay. Let me give, I, I forget her last name. Raby. R-A-B-Y. Marilyn Raby. Marilyn Raby. Okay. Okay. All right. Here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give her a call, see if I can locate that. Okay. Is this a good number for one? Okay. Yep. Call me here. I'm to uh, talk to her real quick, and then we will go from there, okay? And you said August 5th? August 5th is the next hearing. Yeah, August 5th is All the right. next hearing, and then she stands jury trial. I'm suing her for, for uh, loss income and damages on September 13th, I believe. And she has no claims against me. Okay. I have all claims against her. Okay, uh, Jeremy, uh, I know some people don't, but do you mind giving me your social so I can attach you to this? Sure, no problem at all. I'll give you my social. Back to back here, I've got to catch up with. Yeah, I'm going to call her. And we'll see what we can do for you, okay? I appreciate your professionalism. I pre appreciate your professionalism. You gotta be, and, and like I said, don't, uh, don't hold the uh, so-called threats of trespass against us. You just, we deal with it so much. Um, and the civil matter type stuff, that it, it, it starts to walk a line, you know what I mean? I understand, but I also... So whatever, those guys, yeah. whatever those guys said or did, you know, that I wouldn't, uh, don't hold the heart. We're all pretty much decent guys try to be, you know. And and that's what we need. So we need we'll, that. We'll do, we'll do what I we, appreciate yeah, that. We'll, we'll do what we can for you. And um, don't be surprised if you get a weird 330 number calling you. It might be me from my desk when I get back up. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right.
Thank you for all your help. Bye-bye. Well, at least we're getting somewhere now. He's going to call Marilyn. Not that Marilyn's going to tell him where my actual trailer is. But he's going to call Marilyn. And then we found out that Marilyn actually tried to have Worcester Police tow. Isn't that interesting? And that the building is already sold. Isn't that interesting? This just gets crazier and crazier and crazier. I assume we're going to get a call here real soon. It's been a full two and a half days since I've heard from the Worcester police. How long does it take to get a hold of Marilyn? You've got her phone number, uh, you've got her address, and she's been at the warehouse every single day. Thanks to you, the viewers, you're sending us pictures and videos letting us know that she's at the warehouse. I'm not sure how long it takes to find out where my stolen trailer is and where all of my other stolen items are going, but I'm thinking two and a half days is a little bit much. Hoping to hear from the Worcester Police Department soon. I want to be very clear. I appreciate the police. Absolutely. When they serve and protect. And emphasis on serve and protect. Not when things go awry, not when things go to complaining against innocent people or lying or, and we could go on and on and on, right? There are good people in every organization. There are bad people in every organization. Let's hope the good people win in this situation.